Gasp, the revelation still hangs in the air, a lingering scent of betrayal and ambition. Lauren, with a shocked expression, exclaims, Oh my god, Sebastian Clean is Bash Mayers. Cassie, her voice filled with resentment and a desperate longing, bemoans, This is so unfair. I should have been the one to marry Sebastian Clean. He gave us a mere half a million from his trust fund when he's worth billions. Lauren, her voice softer now, filled with concern, says, It appears Natalie is oblivious to all this. Cassie, a note of triumph in her voice, responds, You're right, he plans to tell her at some company event this Friday. Lauren, her voice now determined, states, Cassie, listen to me. This time, I'll help you get Sebastian Cleon. In the next scene, we find Sebastian at home, sipping his coffee. Natalie, cheerful and oblivious, says, Heading to work, see you later. Sebastian, with a small smile, responds, Okay, have fun at work, honey. As Natalie leaves, Sebastian's phone rings, a call from Mr. Volkov, a name that sends shivers down our spines. Mr. Mayers, he says, I did what you asked, we can call it even now. As the call ends, Sebastian looks out of the window, his face unreadable. What did Volkov do? And what does this mean for Natalie, the unsuspecting wife of a billionaire with a double life? What role will Lauren and Cassie play in this intricate web of secrets and lies? Ah, oh, dear viewers, buckle up. The next part promises to be an exhilarating ride filled with more twists, more secrets and more drama. But for now, we leave you with this cliffhanger, a tantalizing taste of what's to come. Until next time.